In this problem, we have to find the arc length of this function from 0 to 6. So the formula for the arc length is the following. So little s is equal to the definite integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus, and then it's y prime squared, and then dx. So all we have to do is work out what's inside the square root and then attempt to integrate it. So y prime, so we can just put the 3 halves in the front, so we get 3 halves times 2. So x to the 3 halves, so we're subtracting 1, so 3 halves minus 1 is 3 halves minus 2 halves, which is 1 half and the derivative of 3 is 0. So we're left with 3x to the 1 half. So now we just have to square it. So y prime squared, well this basically means we square all of this. So 3x to the 1 half squared. So we square the 3, so that gives us 9. And when you square x to the 1 half, that just gives you x. All right, so we have 1 plus y prime squared, which is 1 plus 9x. So now let's go ahead and try to integrate this. So little s is equal to the definite integral. So our a is equal to 0, and our b is equal to 6. So we're going from 0 to 6, and then we have the square root of 1 plus 9x, and then we have our dx. So to do this problem, um, we do have to make a u substitution. So let's go ahead and do that carefully. So u is going to be equal to 1 plus 9x. So then our du will simply be 9dx. Now we don't have a 9 in our integrand, so we have to divide both sides of this by 9. So this is 1 ninth du, and that's equal to dx. Also, this is a definite integral, and we made a u substitution, so we should change our limits of integration. Let's do the lower limit first. So when x is equal to 0, we'll take the 0 and plug it into our formula for u. So 1 plus 9 times 0. So u is equal to 1 plus 0, which is 1. And then when x is equal to 6, we get u equals 1 plus 9 times 6. So u equals... So 9 times 6 is 54, so 1 plus 54 is 55. All right, let's go back to our integral and finish. So little s is equal to, so we said dx was 1 ninth du. So we can pull out the 1 ninth. Then we have the definite integral. 0 gets replaced with 1. So our lower limit becomes 1, and 6 gets replaced with 55. So our upper limit becomes 55. And we're left with the square root of u du. To integrate this, we can write it as something to a power. So let's write this as u to the 1 half. So u to the 1 half du. Okay, so now we can use the power rule. So this is 1 ninth. When we add 1 to 1 half, it's 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves. And dividing by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds. And we're going from 1 to 55. So this is equal to 2 over 27 u to the 3 halves, just taking an extra step here to to clean this up because, uh, yeah, this is better this way. So 2 over 27, 
So we plug in the 55 first. So 55 to the 3 halves minus 1 to the 3 halves. So this is just 2 over 27. 55 to the 3 halves minus 1. And if you put this in a calculator, let me let me do that, see what we get. So it's 2 over 27 times, and then 55 to the 3 halves, whoops, 3 halves, and then we subtract 1, it gives us 30.14, so that would be the arc length of the graph. I hope this video has been helpful.